Hi, I'm Arti and this is my Sea White of Brighton case bound sketchbook. This is a chunky one. It's going to be a long sketchbook tour. So get a cup of coffee or a drink and settle in. I started this sketchbook in 2013 after a year in 2012 when I had quite a lot of health issues and I wanted to get back to my art practice. The majority of pieces in the first half of the sketchbook are done at random and they're not in chronological order. They are mostly in acrylic paint and I've got a coating of matte medium on the top to make them not stick to each other. I started off with this fried egg and hearts and then moved on to very whimsical balloons made out of animals, bird, an, an eagle and a whale. As I said, this book is not chronological, so you will find a little bit of randomness as we go through. Towards the end, I do start to get a little bit more chronological because I come towards the end of the decade. It's taken me almost 10 years to finish this sketchbook. But a combination of acrylic paint, pen work, and just random things. I don't, I, I don't even know if I did some sort of prompt list or something for this. Um, I think I just painted at random whatever I felt like because at that point I hadn't made illustration my career I was just doing book design I mean I, I this day I probably just drew my tools because I couldn't think of anything else lemons always a favorite food is always always something that I get back to when I don't know what else to draw and then I did I think start an A to Z illustration series but again I didn't do them chronologically at the time I would just randomly open a page in the sketchbook and start painting so there's A but I'm not quite sure what order is going to be and I guess B will be a couple of pages later cute little octopus there you go B and C so there's A B and C and I seem to have decided to do them in florals I'm not quite sure why again like I said not in order so B C and then random coffee a hand, more balloons. I've been drawing balloons like this for quite a long time, replacing the hot air balloon section with other things, like in this case, an apple. And then back here, you can see I did them as a bird and a whale. This kind of whimsical theme has always been running through my brain. In fact, it's something I've had dreams about and then remembered in the morning and then drawn it. I've also always included these little Victorian figures because I'll come to it later, there's a whole series that I've done in this sketchbook where I always feel like the Victorians seem to be the first generation of people, at least in England, who tried to control nature, to understand it and to impose their will upon it. But nature is bigger than man and that was kind of the concept behind having the tiny little people and the big animals and birds and nature. Anyway, so that's the, that's the balloon series and I've done quite a lot of them. It was around this time that I started to paint silk. So some of the designs in this are working out ideas for silk scarves. These, I'm not quite sure if I did make them into a scarf. Well, I made it into something similar, not quite ex the same. Oh, there's <laughs> D from my alphabet series. More te pen patterns. Again, oh. This was actually a scarf that I did as a custom piece for someone. So clearly this is not a 2013 piece, even though we're in the beginning of the sketchbook. I think this was somewhere around 2015, 16, maybe. I actually do have pictures of the scarf and the making of it. So I'll um, show you those as well. This was again a, an idea for a scarf. <laughs> we'll come back to more random things. I did love drawing flowers and galaxy scenes. Oh, here we are. Again, this must be later on because these are two scarf designs that I did in fact uh, develop into a whole series, a whole collection of scarves. I did keep some of these for myself as well. And in fact, I think I made them all the way up until I closed the business last year. And then we're back again to some random pieces. I really love the textures and the layering in this. I might actually go back to this and do some more of these. Here we are back again to the alphabets and E, like I said, I literally, I used to just open a random page in the sketchbook and paint. I had no agenda, I had no plans, I just wanted to express myself. I particularly love this piece though because it has so much texture in it. I think I'd got uh, new metallic paints for the first time. This was when, perhaps I should explain a little bit, we moved to the UK in 2009 
and I didn't bring very many things with me. So I had very few paints. I think I had some acrylics, I had some uh, paint brushes, and I picked up a few things from maybe Cass Art or Jackson's, I'm not quite sure which. And I used to literally make do with what I had. In fact, for a long time, I didn't know that painting acrylic in this book and then shutting the pages would make it stick together. So until I discovered or a friend told me that I could use matte medium to not only make it matte so that the acrylic doesn't reflect at all, but also to not make it stick to each other, I did have these glassine sheets that I actually still keep in this book and I have laboriously taken out to show it to you this to show you this um, sketchbook tour but that's 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 why there are some uh, marks and things in these on these pages where it stuck together before I knew better anyway so I'm really proud of this fish piece again as you can see I wasn't particular about what I was doing so there's paint come all over the place there's an E, there's an F, <laughs> and then a cactus. At this point, I'm pretty sure I was following some sort of prompt list because these are not subjects that I would draw on my own. So perhaps I should look back at what I was doing at the time and see why I'm drawing a cactus, which is mm, unusual for me. Anyway, F, G, and then obviously I've got T somewhere because I've gone backwards somehow. But yeah, so this, this is a whole series that actually I might revisit. It does look quite fun. X and H, Y, I, Z and a J, U and K. That looks a little bit like kryptonite flowers, doesn't it? O and I, N and M, W and V. I might actually do a video with just the alphabet pages because this really doesn't make any sense. But anyway, so then I got a protea. Um, I think I might have been doing a Lisa Congdon class at this point because I think that's where I first heard about protea flowers. I hadn't really seen them before that. And then ladybirds, ladybugs are always something that I love to draw. Balloons, more fishes. I love the fishies. Oh, I do know when this was. This was during the Brexit vote and I was so upset that everyone voted. Well, not everyone. Most of England and Wales voted out and Ireland, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, Scotland and London voted in. Obviously, this is what I did. Then more stuff that I don't normally draw. So I, I must find out what prompt list this was. Even florals are not something that I generally draw in this manner. Fried eggs and these little birdies. Yes, this was again something that I was thinking about a scarf. And I did make a whole series of birdies scarves, so that did turn into an actual project. Fried eggs, when, when at a loss, just draw fried eggs. This one was pretty recent, I would say. This is in the last couple of years. I don't have a year written on it. But I know that I got this Molotov marker fairly recently. So this one must be in the last couple of years. Cherry and gin tonic. This was an idea I had about doing cocktails and mocktails. So yeah, this is a refillable marker pen for Chrome. These are actually <laughs> just a couple of weeks ago. So again, I had blank pages and I just went back and used whatever was available. This is an acrylic background with gouache on top, toadstools and mushrooms, and my favorite pomegranates. I've been po drawing pomegranates for years and years and years. I'm not quite sure why I'm obsessed with them. I love the color, I love the shape. I used to love eating them until, for health reasons, I no longer can. But yeah, maybe that's why I draw them, because I can no longer eat them. Random love bag, cherry blossoms. This must have been cherry blossom season or something. More florals. I think this again turned into a scarf. Random mushrooms. The swan you would have seen in my Posca pencils video, because this is the test page for that. This again is from many years ago in acrylic. Again, years and years ago. Ha! Here we come to a point which I know probably was in 2014 or 2015 when somebody asked me to make them silk necklaces. And in fact, I did make those silk necklaces. And I also continued making necklaces thereafter and I still have some pieces. Here's some more with beads as spaces. And I had to like ideate and think about what I wanted to do with them. 
Um, seasonal fruit and veg. This is again ideas for various things. And here we are back to the alphabets. It was really random, wasn't it? There's quite a lot of pages between the last alphabet and this one. So just randomly opening a page and working. This one also I think I've shown before in my illustrating books video, which I will link for you. It was illustrating the cover, doing all these little bits and bobs, and then making a whole watercolor illustration out of them. Did a whole alphabet and then <laughs> obviously P and Q. Well, I don't know where the Q has gone. It's obviously somewhere else. Yeah, there we are. Q, P. <laughs> I really like the P actually. R, that's our garden and it's I've got a date on it, May 2020. So yeah. So like I said, I've been flipping and flopping back and forth through the years. Another one, this will again be in the, in the more recent few years, and an S from that series. More ideation. I haven't really done this poster. I probably should. What do you think? Leave a comment and let me know if I should make this poster into an illustration. These again, my obsession with the Nautilus shape. These were sketches and studies for the entire collection that I did that is actually now available in my online shop. We'll link it for you down below. I love the spiral shape and I also love the motion of the waves and the way that I did the overlapping of them. I also like the variegated background. There's a lot of things I like about these two pieces and that I've carried forward into my work ever since then. They're both in gouache with pencil on top. Again, pen work, ballpoint pen. At one point I used to do a lot of pen and ink work and then like I said, in 2012, I had health issues and then my hand, I don't know if you can tell, it shakes quite a bit, so I don't have a steady hand anymore, which is why I paint more than I draw. These were paintings I did as a base for some of my silk work. I will show you them here. And this one, followed by, let me skip a few pages, that and that and that and that one were all layouts that I did for these little embroidery hoop silk pieces. They're also part of the Nautilus collection. Again, back to balloons. Now this one is an actual proper balloon, but we're still with the Victorian figure in it. I was originally planning to do it on silk, but I ended up doing it in gouache instead. This is within the last couple of years, I think. Again, gouache. I've shared this on my Instagram before. <laughs> Another pomegranate, space pomegranate. I'm, I'm not sure why, but I do like this theme and I come back to it a lot. Random lizards, not quite sure what was going on there. Not a subject I draw. This page you would have seen in my Neo Color 2 video, testing out those. More pomegranates. <laughs> <laughs> a running theme throughout my sketchbooks. Pomegranates, pomegranates. Here we've gone back to the same theme of the balloon that I like to put different things in the place of the hot air balloon. And then some of them are literal hot air balloons. This again, you would have seen in the Posca pencil video because I did Posca pencil on top of an old gouache painting that I hadn't quite finished. Again, both gouache with pencil on the top. Lisa's color meditations. This was a creative bug class that I did. Again, far soon, far earlier than, than the later years. It was probably, again, 2013, 14, 15 sometime. But I think this one, yes, I've done this in chronological order because it was a 30 day challenge. So we've got Lisa's color meditations and I've got all 30 days. I think this is a class you can still do on Creative Bugs. So if you wanna do that, I would highly recommend it. It really helped me get out of a funk and I think I used some of these color combinations and things in my work later on as well. So yeah, it's just exercises to familiarize yourself with color and pattern and shapes and playing with things and then using things like wax. Yeah, I really loved this class. I think she has a she has a book now and a color deck, if I'm not mistaken. I'll probably um, check what she has and put it in the links for you.
this is May 2020. Lunch cup club with sorry, lunch club with Lindsay Stripling, drawing people. So as Lindsay Stripling was um, drawing, so was I. <laughs> and then we come to the series where I attempted to do one of my many failed 30-day challenges. This was Gua in 2020, March. And I think I started and then obviously the pandemic broke and everything just went to pot, as they say. <laughs> so I started off with these and this is the series where I put the little Victorians because the power of nature is much greater than humans. And that's the whole idea behind this, that humans think that they can control nature, but nature in reality is controlling them. So I started off with the lemons. Some of these are cards and prints available in my shop. Um, I think some of them are end of line or something like that. So some of them may be there and some of them maybe not. So there's lime and lemon, the fish. I don't think I ever made this into a print, but it's a sheep with a guy in a meadow randomly. Again, a balloon, but I didn't quite get the balloon shape on the bottom. The rocket jellyfish, the moth, otter, playful otter, Ouroboros or the dragon snake, the hammerhead shark, avocado and lime, lanterns, Chinese lanterns. This was an experiment actually. I wanted to combine my pen and ink stuff with my gouache. I don't think this particularly worked out. I'm not unhappy with it, but it's not my favorite piece. And then these are all 2020. Also, I think these were Yes, randomly through March, and then I think the last one was the 15th of March when lockdown was announced in the UK. And then this one is May, so I didn't, this is more or less chronological after this, so I didn't really do anything then. Another random page, this one again, I think was a Lindsay Stripling class, possibly. <laughs> Come back to drawing my old staples, utensils, cups and saucers, and here I've actually tested out petals three petals four five six seven eight nine no seven eight twelve and, and seven eight ten and twelve not quite sure what i was doing that for but possibly for the cup and then i've got more notes i do often use my sketchbooks like this just to put notes in and figure out what i want to do more notes and obviously this is what i was doing it for i was doing it for some sort of illustration which i never in the end did but perhaps this is something that I should revisit. I've obviously got all the things down here. Everything is prepped. I just haven't actually done it. So maybe I should do that. Here I've actually tried some alcohol markers I got. And I did regret it because they literally bled through onto this page that I rather like. Because I've got April and May UK produce and then February produce. So obviously I was going somewhere with this. And I really like this page as well. I might do some more pages with just black and white and grey. Really enjoyed this page. This is actually an idea that I had that I actually did send a proposal in to TFL, which is Transport for London, and they shot me down. They said they already have people that they work with and they're not interested in working with anyone else. So these ideas, one day, I will take to fruition in some way. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. These will be coming soon at some point. Oh well. This was another class by Lim Lindsay Stripling, um, August of 2020, called Your Hand is Not a Camera, where we were drawing people and doing layering with watercolor and things. Again, I didn't quite finish the final project for that, but I really enjoyed it and I would recommend this class. I would definitely say if you have the opportunity to take it, take it. It was really good. Like we drew eyes and noses and ears and mouths and actual faces and like how to put together the entire um, sort of feeling of a person. So yeah, you can see Gok Wan, I tried to draw myself. But yeah, I never finished it. And then obviously, we got our dog in 2020. So these are 2021, 2022, I think these last few pages. This one, again, you would have seen this in my Posca pencils video, it says 2022, testing out the Posca pencils, drawing with the Poscas. These are a combination of gouache and Posca pencils. Again, I was testing out and seeing how I liked them. I really do enjoy them. I would probably mostly use them in the sketchup because I don't know the light fastness of them. But yeah, enjoyed them. 
Then my favorite page in the end of the sketchbook. I mean, I have a lot of favorite pages in the sketchbook, but this has to be one of them, ginkgo leaves, going from really dry to really dark. And some of these colors are unrealistic for ginkgo leaves, but what the heck, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Might just use this for something at some point. This one I did, I think, on a YouTube Live. It's probably on my channel somewhere. I did the base of these dogs and then I decorated them in a Christmassy pattern. I think I'll probably use them in some cards or something like that at some point, but right now they're just sitting here enjoying themselves. I really like this little gingerbread man next to that guy. Again, more Christmassy stuff. I was probably doing this to use for cards and things. Haven't used it, have scanned it, so we'll probably see it in my shop at some point. I've just drawn a whole bunch of things that I can use for various um, purposes. Mistletoe gifts, I think these are chocolate oranges, cherries, crackers, and like just random Christmassy stuff. Again, I really like the gingerbread men. And of course, can't do a page without pomegranates, can I? And more pomegranates. <laughs> this was for, again, the Posca pencils and I did a Posca base and then put pencils over the top. I'll link that video for you as well. And that is the end of the sketchbook. I obviously did some swatch tests on the back of this. Um, perhaps in my next sketchbook I might do like a proper end paper. But this for this one, <laughs> this is all I've got. So I hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour. There are a couple of other sketchbook tours on my channel. So if you enjoyed this one, go and watch those. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.